Okay, <clears throat> some chicken coop upgrades. I'm trying to do some of the upgrades that uh, I've done for those of you that uh, do have chickens and raise chickens. It's just great uh, kind of sharing some ideas. So I made these two panels. They're the old fashioned kind of thing where uh, you would hang uh, screens on your porch in the summer and then take them down in the winter <clears throat> and put them under the, the porch. So they're just on this side. It's not the way in Oregon our storms come from uh, the west southwest and these screens are on the east uh, northeast side. So um, they're going to protect any water, rainwater from getting in on this side. The other side is going to have uh, more solid sheeting because the storms really come strong, heavy winds off this side. And I did put a solid panel on the door, cut it down and fit it in there. Um, but this one side of, both sides of the door are going to have just uh, plastic that'll come down in the spring. This is, the green is just a uh, sunscreen. So um, I'll probably take that down when I put the plastic up just so there's a little more light. So let me take you inside and, well, let me show you a little more on this uh, ba baffle over here for the rain. I just have some PVC pipe extending uh, these out and they can be adjusted uh, as needed. If you do get this kind of channeling, um, a couple tips, it's hollow inside. So they recommend that the, the ends be sealed so you don't have algae growing on the inside. Well here's the thing, when you cut it and you drill the holes you get a lot of shards and dust on the inside. So don't go sealing the ends until uh, you blow the channels clean. And uh, you know, you're not going to get the channels clean from just banging it on the ground because of the uh, static that develops uh, with the, the polycarbonate. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a raccoon or something kind of climbed on the roof and then onto here and then slid down. Um, so I've got double wire too. That's another kind of thing I did because we were having attempted attacks into the coop. So besides the basic chicken wire, uh, I've got some uh, stronger wire on the lower section and there's wire all under the coop plus now I put the cement so the whole deck is uh, cement <clears throat> so nothing's going to come in from the bottom okay going inside now okay the other upgrade is uh, an automatic door um, there's, a, there's a couple reasons for it, but uh, this uh, automatic door also goes to a light panel. Uh, the little computer box calculates the hours of daylight and dark. So this panel right now is coming on about quarter to four in the morning. So that way the birds always have 16 hours of light and um, they'll lay before the, uh, they go outside. So hopefully, you know, the eggs will always be um, the, on the inside and not out in the yard. So the sensor for opening and closing the door is a, a photo sensor outside. And uh, they really got it down to a science. They're always in on time and they're waiting at the door for it to open in the morning. So it's a great addition to keep your birds on a cycle. And if you have predators, it's uh, definitely uh, something that you should consider um, in case you can't uh, get down to let them out in the morning or um, close it early enough at night before a fox comes around or coyotes or whatever. Uh, it's definitely worth the investment. This one I got at McMurray, Murray McMurray Hatchery. Um, well worth the expense. Easy to put in also.